What's up everyone? Welcome to Yoga with Adrian. I'm Adrian, and today on the channel we have a very special, special practice. I'm super excited to share this with you because it's for a great cause, and I mean it from the bottom of my heart. I'm so honored to be a part of this campaign with St. Jude Children's Research Hospital to raise awareness for Childhood Cancer Awareness Month. So um, in our yoga practice, it's all about raising awareness, raising awareness, and tending to the self so that we can tend to others. So I thought, in an effort to be a part of this Show Your Gold campaign and include you in on this campaign and hopefully spread the word about Childhood Cancer Awareness Month, we would all get on the mat and work on this area of the body, the third chakra that's associated with the color yellow or gold, as I'm calling it. And I've put on a couple of gold pieces today. Real gold. This is all real gold. <laughs> gold tooth. So that's why we're getting on the mat today for a little show your gold yoga. So hop on the mat for a good cause, open your mind, open your heart, and let's get started. All right, so we're gonna begin on our backs today. Take a second to stretch out and just get settled in. So any movement you wanna make here, maybe reaching the arms up and overhead, maybe pointing and flexing the feet, rotating the wrists, anything that feels good. Just kind of settling into the moment here, dropping into the moment so that you can enjoy your practice. Maybe inhale. And then exhale, let go of the day thus far. And inhale. And exhale, let go of what's to come, your to-do list, and just kind of settle into this moment here. And when you're ready, we're gonna bring the hands to the area that we're gonna be focusing on today. So one hand is gonna come just below the belly button or the navel. And then the other hand will come just above. So essentially we have one hand on the lower belly, and one hand just above, right below the rib cage here, in the solar plexus. Spread your palms wide and then take a deep breath in. And exhale, relax your legs, your ankles, your shoulders, your elbows down. So if you're caught here, go ahead and relax everything down. Then on your next breath in, see if you can breathe into your hands, whatever that means to you. So um, because we're working with the chakra today and kind of stimulating the energetic body, there might be some things that I say that may confuse you or throw you off, especially if you're new to the practice. I encourage you to not get too caught up in your mind and just see um, what you can do with my prompts. So the first one that we'll play with is breathing into your hands or sending breath to your belly. So again, you might think, well, what does it mean to send breath to my belly? And so just explore that, whatever it means to you. If you're familiar with belly breathing or diaphragmatic breathing, then you might begin that now. And we're just gonna begin to send some breath to this area of the body where the third chakra points lie. So perhaps as you inhale, you fill the lungs, the abdominal wall kind of expands here, and perhaps you hold at the top so as you can see, really stretching that area of the body, maybe pausing at the top and then using the exhale to release with control. So when you feel like you understand um, what we're doing here, go ahead and turn your gaze up towards the ceiling or the sky and maybe even close your eyes. We're just gonna play a little bit with some belly breathing here again, breathing into this area of the body that we're going to stretch and stimulate and strengthen and balance today. At the very least, you get a few nice, long, smooth, deep breaths to calm your nerves, to relax into the moment, and to help you choose to enjoy your time with yourself to make the most of your time on the mat. And to work in an empowering way. This is the perfect practice or the perfect, this will be the perfect sequence of poses to really gift yourself with this sense of 
connect to your inner power and that unique divine power that's unique to you. That is what this chakra is all about. Balancing your personal power so that you can be confident and so that you can be in a place where you can help others and encourage that in the world. So just take a couple more full belly breaths, just playing and experimenting here, even if you only get one good one. And then we'll gently release one hand down followed by the other and then we'll slide one leg up followed by the other and we'll take our a second here to just wrap the arms around the shin so you know what to do here and rock a little side to side hmm a little lower back of body of love here as you maybe draw circles with the knees or again just rock a little side to side Find what feels good here, and then when you're satisfied, slide the hands to the backs of the legs, and we're gonna to begin to rock and roll front to back. So even here, we're gonna to begin to activate a, a little awareness, which will then turn into a lot of awareness in this area of the third chakra, okay? So from the solar plexus down below the navel, there's a big, there's a big conversation about where specifically that is. I'll talk more about that on the blog, but we're gonna just work with this area here. So even from this place, you can draw the navel to the spine, kind of activate this area of the body, and then begin your rock and roll. Connect to a little playful energy here if you can. Try not to take it too seriously as we rock front and back. And then just notice if you've grown soft in this area, see if you can kind of activate it by hugging muscle to bone. And then of course, finding your breath. And then do one more. And then when you rise up, lift up through your heart, bring the soles of the feet together and the knees wide and we're gonna to come to a cobbler's pose, Baddha Konasana. And this is a little reflexology moment. This is awesome, so a little bonus to your yoga practice here where we're gonna take the thumbs right to the arches of the feet. And this is the pressure point that's associated with this third chakra that we're playing with today. So. We massage this area of the foot and we stimulate the third chakra energy and its principles. And at the very least, you just get a nice little stimulation in the feet, a little foot massage. And then when you feel satisfied, bring the hands to the ankles and sit up nice and tall here. Draw the shoulders away from the ears as you lift your heart. Take a deep breath in and a long breath out. Awesome. We're gonna take the ankles now and cross them. Nice cross-legged position here. We call this Sukhasana. As we sit up nice and tall, palms on the tops of the knees. Breathe in and breathe out. Great, see if you can stack your head over your heart and your heart over your pelvis here. Lengthen through the crown of the head and lift up through the center channel. So there's this energetic lift. It's, it's more than just sit up tall. It's this kind of filling the body with awareness and energy. This upward movement or just kind of intention. And then find places where you can also ground and anchor, maybe in the elbows, the shoulder blades, the tops of the thighs. And then we're gonna move and groove with a little spinal flex here, but also stimulate this third chakra. So what we're gonna do is move in a circle, inhaling as you smear the heart forward. And then we'll draw the chin to the chest as you move around and back. Draw the navel to the spine and exhale as you come through center. 
Again, inhale, coming forward. And exhale, chin to chest as you come around and back. Now to really make the most of this, you're gonna, again, anchor some awareness in the space between kind of the navel and the spine and then the surrounding areas there. So you might even try to move from that place in your body. There's this image of the old fashioned coffee grinder moving around and around. If you know what an old fashioned coffee grinder looks like, that might help you as you really kind of move from that place. Also super awesome for the digestive organs here. Move with your breath. When you feel like you've had enough, reverse your circle and begin to maybe stretch through the elbows and the shoulders and the neck. So the beautiful thing about a home practice too is you can kind of own it a little more maybe than you would in public. So find what feels good here, get a little freaky. <laughs> and then we'll come back to center. Once again, returning to head over heart, heart over pelvis alignment. Then draw your palm, palms together and <laughs> sit up nice and tall. If you'd like to just set a quick intention for the rest of your practice. Maybe connecting to the deeper meaning here. Maybe why you rolled out your mat today. I'm gonna take a deep breath in. Use your exhale to bow your head to your heart. That mind intelligence to the body intelligence or the heart. And then we'll slowly come onto all fours. So take your time getting there. When you do, spread your hands wide like starfish. Wrists underneath the shoulders, knees directly underneath the hip points. Then inhale in as you exhale, press away from your yoga mat, hollow through the upper back body and lift your knees, let them hover. Now we're engaging the abdominal wall here, strong. You might feel a little heat, you might begin to shake. Just a couple seconds more, use your breath, find that fire in your belly, my friends. And then gently release the knees to the ground, curl the toes under and send it up to downward facing dog. When you arrive, pedal the feet, find what feels good here as you bend the knees, one and then the other. And then we'll go for a nice slow walk up towards the middle of your mat. And then take a forward fold. Feet hip width apart, grab the elbows, rock a little side to side. You know what to do here. Ooh, I can see through my gold here. It's fun. Bend the knees as generously as you need to here. Keep breathing deep. Then we're gonna slowly roll it up. Pressing into the feet, drawing energy up through the legs, stacking the spine, and then eventually lifting up through the sternum. Take a second to just get settled in so you might draw circles with the nose. If you have a crick in your neck, you might loop the shoulders one way and then the other. And then when you feel satisfied, send the fingertips behind, interlace, draw the knuckles down and away with soft knees and begin to open up through the chest. Kind of butterflying open through the front body, but keeping the tailbone nice and heavy here. So we're not here, but here, tucked, head over heart, heart over pelvis. Then find your breath, begin to cultivate a deeper breath here, you got it. Maybe it's ujjayi breath, maybe it's just some audible breath to anchor your focus in. And then slowly carve a line with your nose, look up. And then exhale, break free of everything and take it all the way down to your forward fold. Great inhale, halfway lift, nice flat back position here. And then exhale, bow, little sun salutation. So we're gonna step or hop the feet back to plank, you got it, nice and strong. And then lower all the way to the belly, you got it. Inhale, press into your foundation as you lift up and open your heart. And then exhale, float it down, curl the toes under, press back up to that push-up, strong as you hug the lower ribs in, and send it to downward facing dog. 
Awesome, now anchor through the left heel. Inhale, slide the right leg up high, and exhale, squeeze the right knee in towards your heart. Awesome, a little fire in the belly there as you step your right foot up, and we'll come into a nice low lunge. So feel free to lower that back knee, stretch it out. And then moving to our first warrior pose. We're gonna slowly lift the back knee up and spiral on that back foot. So as you pivot on the back foot, really pay attention to pressing into that outer edge, nice and strong. Then charge your left inner thigh and keep the front knee bent as you slowly rise up, strong like a warrior. So we wanna keep the front body lifted here. We wanna engage this area of the body by dropping the tail down. And for me, it helps to widen the stance a little bit here so I can find that power, that lift here that feels um, not forced, but strong and lifted. So if you're kind of forcing yourself forward, then you might look at your foundation and see what you can do to find this yummy lifted feeling up through the torso. Then maybe the hands stay on the waistline here, or maybe we reach them all the way up, warrior one. Bend deeply in that front knee, and maybe give yourself a nice wide stance here as you inhale in, and exhale, relax the shoulders down. One more breath here, you got it, inhale in and exhale, awesome. Pivot on the back foot, come to a nice high lunge, just one breath here, you got it. So the back heel is lifted now, inhale in, exhale, rain it down. So awesome everyone, plant the palms, slide the right toes back, back to that strong plank where we engage the abdominal wall. You might rock front, you might rock back. Then you can lower all the way to the belly and lift up cobra or chaturanga to upward facing dog. Move with your breath. And then exhale to downward facing dog. Big breath in. Big breath out. This time drop the right heel and lift the left leg up high. Inhale in. And then exhale, squeeze the left knee up and in towards the heart. Step your left foot up into your lunge, and then just take a couple seconds here to lower that back knee and stretch it out. So you might rock a little front, rock a little back. Just notice <clears throat> what's going on in the lower body. And then when you feel satisfied, lift that back knee, pivot on the back foot, find your warrior one on the other side. Again, stay connected, grounded to the earth. Charge through the outer edge of that back foot. Engage your right inner thigh, and then we can bring the hands to the waist here, opening up through the front body, sinking into that front knee. Or we can reach the arms up, full warrior one. Coming into your power here. Breathe deeply. One more breath. Awesome. Then lift your heart so that you can pivot on your back foot. Right heel is now lifted as you come to warrior, uh, excuse me, high lunge for one breath. Strong pose here, squeeze the inner thighs into the midline, and then exhale, release. Awesome work, everyone. So we're gonna rock the back foot up to meet the front from here. If you wanna add a little vinyasa in there, you can. We'll meet in forward fold. Take deep breaths. Then on your next inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, bow. Inhale, sweep the arms all the way up and overhead. And exhale, hands to heart. Awesome, so we're gonna come to a nice wide stance here. Little standing wide-legged forward fold. So two big toes turn in. We stand up nice and tall, engage the legs. So draw energy up through the kneecaps here so you can kind of engage your quads. Sounds so fancy, engage quads. Then fix your gold, <laughs> just kidding. Then we'll inhale, send the fingertips out left to right. Another option would be to keep the hands on the waistline so that's always a nice grounding place where we can open up through this area of the body and breathe deep. And then slowly we'll begin to tilt, keeping the heart open here, that stretch through the front body. 
Just come halfway. See if you can create a flat back position here. This is tough. Breathe deeply. Welcome that heat, that tapas, and then exhale with control, my friends. Slowly release down. Great. We're going to bring the left palm to the center line here. Press away from the yoga mat as you inhale. Send the right fingertips up. Big breath in. And then exhale. Back to center. Right hand replaces the left. And same thing on the other side. Left fingertips reach towards the sky. Shoulders draw away from the ears. Take a deep breath in. And then exhale. Back to center. Awesome. Hands come left to right once again or to the waistline. And we use the power of the legs to slowly come back up. Leading with the heart. Awesome. More warriors. Here we go. Right toes turn out. Left toes turn in. Just a hair. About 45 degrees. We're going for this 90 degree bend in the front leg, but eventually, it may not happen today, right? So being in the moment, staying present, and listening to your body and where it's at today. So come to a nice strong foundation for warrior two. And then bring one hand to your lower belly and one hand to your lower back. Ground through the back body as you lift through the front body. Breathe deeply and then send the fingertips out left to right. Strong focus here. Connecting to that inner power, that unique energy that's just totally yours, that some people call it attitude that you bring to the mat. And then we'll find a different flavor, a different rasa, if you will, as we reach the right fingertips forward. Flip the palm and then send it all the way up and back. Left fingertips gonna travel to the front of the right hip crease and we come into a little peaceful warrior here. Big breath in, back to warrior two, on an exhale. Awesome, straighten through that front leg. We're gonna turn the right toes in and take it to the other side, left toes out. Then find strong footing here. One hand to belly, one hand to back. Think upward current through the front body and grounding through the back body. Stay curious in the legs. So if you're an experienced yogi, you might enjoy slowing things down here and just kind of carving through and looking at the poses in a new light, finding strength, inviting all those intrinsic muscles along for the ride. You get the picture. When you're ready, send the fingertips out left to right. Find your focus. Remember your intention as you draw your shoulders away and lift your heart up. Big breath in, big breath out. Big breath in, reach the left fingertips forward as you flip the palm, then draw big rainbows. You sink into your front knee and send it back, peaceful warrior. Maybe the right hand comes to the top of the left hip crease here. Just having a little fun. Inhale in, and then exhale back to Virabhadrasana two, warrior two. Strong here, don't give up, stick with it. And then we'll straighten through the left leg. Turn both toes in once again, and hands come to rest on the waistline. Catch your breath, observe your breath. Notice how you feel. So one final challenging warrior. I encourage you to go at it with just kind of a sense of humor and an openness. We're going into warrior three. So I'm gonna come into warrior one here. Right toes point forward. I'm gonna swivel the left foot around and back. So find your footing, find your foundation, and we'll come to warrior one once again, nice and strong. Strong in the lower body, upper body, nice and open, lifted through the front body, grounding through the back body. You got it, here we go. Spread the fingertips this time, and then exhale, rain the fingertips down, coming into a little variation here. To open up through the solar plexus, we draw the knuckles down and away as we interlace. And then I'm gonna soften through that back leg and just bring it halfway in. Not locked in the standing leg at all, nice and soft here. In fact, I might even find a little bounce, a little buoyancy. Inhale in as you take your gaze forward, just to start. And then exhale, charge through that left inner thigh as you lift it up, send it towards the back edge of your mat. Try to level the hips here. Draw the knuckles away from the crown. Eventually we draw the gaze slightly down and eventually maybe tucking the chin to the chest. 
active through the left foot here. You can point it, you can go flexed or yogi toes. And then if you're feeling adventurous, break free and send the fingertips forward, up. Lift your heart. Breathe, breathe, breathe. And then be brave, trust. Step back, warrior one. Whoa. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, release. Awesome, guys. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. Hands come to the waistline. This is kind of superhero pose here. Open. Turn the right toes in. Left toes out. Come to your warrior one on the other side. So workshop it a little bit here. Don't rush into the pose or kind of the shape of the pose. Really see what's going on in the lower body today. Then let's have some fun. What do you say? We come to our warrior one. We find our breath again. Then we'll rain the fingertips down. Interlace opposite thumb on top this time. And we draw the knuckles down and away, opening up through the chest. Soften through that back knee as you step up halfway. Soften through the standing leg. Find a little bounce, a little buoyancy. Send your gaze a little bit forward. Then inhale in and on an exhale, we lift the back leg up. So maybe we're here with the big toe on the ground. We lift. So we can also use the wall here to play. So just a little time to play. And if you're feeling adventurous, you might break free with the fingertips and send the fingertips forward, up, and away. Find your breath. And then back to warrior one. Wherever you are, we'll meet in one final warrior. Breathe in and use an exhale to let it all go. Awesome, come back to center. And we're gonna heel toe, heel toe the feet back. Come to your mountain pose. And then we're gonna bring the hands right to the belly, just below the navel and just above. Big breath in, big breath out. I have a friend that says, you gotta listen to your gut. And that is kind of what balancing this chakra is all about. Clearing out the blockages, knocking them down, clearing out the cobwebs, so that the energetic channels, those meridians, those nadis, as we call them in yoga, are not uh, plugged up. The system is go. And the energy that's uniquely yours and true to you and serves you most can flow. And then drop your chin to your chest, take a look down, and we're gonna come to a seat. Yay! Use your fingertips to guide you, and then send your legs out long. If you wanna take a quick forward fold here, that might be nice for the back. It's always nice for the lower back body. And then we're gonna take that left knee and hike it all the way up. Take the right elbow, hook it into the left knee, and then slowly, before you even send the left fingertips back or move into a twist at all, slowly lift up through the spine. Imagine like you're hearing good news, the way you react when you hear something good or, you know, smell something sweet. So a nice natural lift up through the spine, and then you can send your left fingertips back and find a twist that feels good for you. Hug the left knee in. You might bring the outer edge of the right elbow to the outer edge of the left knee. Careful not to collapse into that back hand. Breathe deeply here, my friends. Press into your right heel. Awesome. Then gently unravel. We'll do the same thing on the other side. Bringing the right foot up, firming down through the left thigh bone here. Hook left elbow to right knee, and then grow nice and tall here. So really do the work. 
in the spine and then we'll send the fingertips behind, but we're not putting all the weight there. And we'll stretch. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, journey into your twist. One more breath. And we'll slowly release, cross the ankles, come on forward. We're to come to lie flat on the belly. Take your time getting there. And I'm going to bend the right knee, reach the right fingertips around to grab the right ankle, flex the foot, and the same thing. Bend the left knee, reach the left fingertips around and grab the left ankle. Stay conscious through the neck here, so no crunching, but also not a dead head here, right? Nice and aware through the neck. Inhale in. Exhale, lift the soles of the feet up towards the sky. Open your heart. Then you might carve a line with your nose to look forward, but again, careful not to crunch the back of the neck here. Inhale in, exhale, lift the feet up towards the sky. Rocking horse here. Use your breath to literally move you here. Awesome. Take one more breath. You got it. And then exhale. Release everything. Awesome. Come back to all fours. Take a child's pose. Knees together or wide. Take a rest. Awesome. Gently, we'll come back to all fours. Swing the legs to the right and then come back through to seated. Awesome. This time, we're almost done. This time we're going to really activate your center, your core. Find your core power, that power from within. So I feel like a lot of times we come into this pose with a sort of dread. I know I did for many years and now it's so empowering to just play within it. So we're going to do it in different levels here, boat pose. First, find that beautiful lift in the heart that you've had the whole practice. Loop your shoulders, lengthen up through the spine. Go ahead and grab the backs of your hamstrings, backs of your thighs, your hamstrings, and then lift the shins parallel to the ceiling, one at a time, rocking back, but you can go ahead and hold your grip here. It's not cheating. Then a little bit of energy through the feet here so they're not dead, right? Really alive, creating a full body experience. Keep the hands where they are, especially if you feel that tremble even here. Otherwise, we might reach the fingertips forward. Stay here. If you feel, still feel like you could go a step further and you want to play, you'll inhale in. Exhale, reach the fingertips up and push the heels out. Inhale back to center. Exhale, press it out. Inhale back to center. You could take the fingertips out. And one more time. Awesome. We'll meet back here. Rock back onto the soles of the feet. And then enjoy a slow roll all the way down. Awesome, my friends. Go ahead and center yourself on the mat. One last twist here as we send the fingertips left to right. This is one of my favorite postures. We hug both knees up towards the heart, scoop the tailbone up, and we're going to finish with a little recline twist. So we have a big Texas T here in the arms. The neck is nice and long. We inhale in and we exhale, send the legs to the left hand side. Allow the weight of your legs to drop. Maybe bring the left palm to the outer edge of the right leg where I'm showing my gold here. <laughs> Maybe you rock gently onto the right ear. And then I invite you to relax, to let go, begin to cool it down. Hmm. Awesome. Slowly we'll roll back through center. Take a deep breath in and use an exhale to melt the legs to the right. Same thing. Finding what feels good here.
melting back to center. Once again, Baddha Konasana, this time recline. So we bring the soles of the feet together and the hands to the belly. So we started with belly breathing. We're gonna end with breath of fire. It's also in a nice like uh, passive stretch here for the lower body, the hips especially. So if you're new to the practice and your hips are really tight, feel free to take breaks. Or you might draw your toes towards the bottom edge of your mat, create a little more space. So always options. Here we go. Drawing the navel in on the exhale. We inhale. Exhale, draw the navel in. Inhale. Exhale, keep that pump going. Awesome. So we just did enough little recline, but, but you've never done Kapalabhati breath reclined. Those of you who are experienced yogis. Um, I like reclining and doing that breath. It's so different. You feel the heat just kind of creep up on the forehead, around the hips, and in this area of the body, believe it or not. So if that was something that excited you, you can repeat it now on your own. If it was too difficult to do lying down, you can sit up and try it again. Or perhaps you're ready for your Shavasana to cool down, in which case we'll slide the right toes down, 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 down. Followed by the left. Take a second to windshield wiper the legs. And then we'll release the right arm to the side, palm face up, followed by the left. And then we'll press into our elbows, press into our head and lift the chest, the sternum, the solar plexus, everything up, 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 up. Crawl your shoulder blades underneath you and then relax everything back down. You can take your gaze off the video now, my friends. Take a big breath in and exhale, let it go. Gorgeous practice, my friends. Just take a quiet moment here. Then gently begin to deepen your breath one last time. We'll hug one knee in, then the other. If time allows, you might stay in Shavasana a little bit longer. Otherwise, we'll cross one ankle over the other, grab the outer edges of the feet, and rock up one last time. We come to that cross-legged position. We bring the palms together at the heart. And we bow to seal the deal. Namaste. All right, my sweet friends, awesome job, awesome work. Thank you so much for sharing your practice with me. And thank you so much for helping me spread the word about Childhood Cancer Awareness Month. All right, if you're interested in doing more, I invite you, I encourage you to go to the Show Your Gold website, join the campaign. If there's a run or walk in your area, you might wanna participate. If you can make a donation, you might wanna do that. Or you can just show your gold through social media and help spread the good word. Thank you so much for sharing your time and energy with me. Take good care. Namaste.